naturally, all court ladies seem to be beautiful. It's a kind of career. The most important aspect of beauty is a flawless complexion. Blemishes are proof of God's wrath at our sin and evidence of lewd sexual fantasies which bubble up to the brain. To keep our complexions fresh, we wash our faces every day in the urine of little boys or animals. Blemishes are usually treated by putting on your skin the ground up dung of an ox. Many women at court have smallpox scars. Do you know what they use to fill them in? Well, human fat. Where do you get human fat, you might ask? Well, either from the apothecary or cutting out the middleman directly from the town executioner. A popular face mask is made with turpentine and quicksilver. We leave it on for eight days and nights, and when we take it off, our skin is so youthful and refreshed. It's just a wonderful recipe. We ladies at court know that smooth white hands come from soaking them in the blood and organs of a slaughtered animal. The blood and organs of pigs, stags, and horses work best. To combat the ever-present problem of lice, we mix together quicksilver, arsenic, and butter. And then we smear it on our scalps, armpits, and other places where lice like to congregate. To remove unwanted hair from our armpits or our legs, we mix up eggs, lye, and arsenic sulfide into a nice paste. Then we put it on the spot from which we want the hairs to fall. And we leave it on for precisely eight minutes. If we leave it on longer than eight minutes, it sort of hurts getting it off. Ouch! Sometimes it takes the skin away along with the hair. For thicker hair, we mix goat turds with olive oil. Mash it up, then massage our scalp thoroughly with it. Leave it on all night. It's really a wonderful recipe. The most popular look at court these days is a white face and red cheeks. In order to get the white face, we use ceruse. It's a lovely mixture of white lead ore, vinegar, arsenic, and other ingredients. It gives us a flawless complexion, though sometimes some of the ladies who use it do suffer paralysis, madness, and death. For red cheeks and lips, we use cinnabar, a form of mercury. And for darker lashes and brows, we use lead stibnite made from antimony, a close cousin of arsenic. Having completed my beauty treatments of mercury, lead, arsenic, antimony, human fat, urine, animal dung, and other ingredients, I am now ready to face the court.